Hi everyone, a very happy and healthy new year to all of you. Welcome to my first video of 2023. If you are new to my channel, my name is Nirupama and I am a PhD in food science and a certified nutrition coach. In this video, I am debunking three nutrition related myths that ranked top on a poll that I recently conducted on YouTube. Let's get started. The plain and simple answer is no. The whole concept of detox diets and detox supplements is a myth and there is no scientific evidence suggesting that these diets work. Let's try and understand this further. Detox comes from the word detoxification which means removal or elimination of toxins or harmful substances from the body. Our own body, especially our liver, has the natural ability to detox and clear out toxins from the body on a daily basis. How well our liver does the job of detoxification depends on our nutritional status and our lifestyle. Research has suggested that when we consume a nutrient-dense diet rich in fruits, vegetables, good proteins, it supports our body's natural ability to detoxify more efficiently. So you might question what is wrong with detox diets? Shouldn't these diets further help the body do its job? There are three problems so to say with detox diets. Firstly, detox diets are restrictive diets that limits consumption to only fruit juices or vegetable juices that you are supposed to consume for a few days to a few weeks. This hugely restricts the amount of nutrients that your body gets from an otherwise full spectrum diet consisting of carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vegetables, fruits, etc. Secondly, detox diets can actually even harm your body. When raw vegetables are juiced for consumption, the anti-nutrients in them gets concentrated in these juices and overconsumption of these vegetable juices can eventually lead to liver failure or even kidney damage. Thirdly, although the term detox diet sounds good and is endorsed by so many celebrities and influencers, there is no evidence as to what a detox diet does, how does it work or which toxins does it really eliminate from the body. So my verdict, stay away from detox diets. Detox diets are a myth and you're better off working towards a healthier overall diet and lifestyle that will support the body's natural ability to detox. The statement is not true. Carbohydrates intrinsically do not cause weight gain. The truth is that for decades fat was blamed as the enemy for bad health and weight gain and now it's carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are the primary source of fuel and energy for our body. Carbohydrates provides the energy that we need to survive, to perform day-to-day -day activities and even intense muscular work. Not just that. The primary source of energy that is required for our brain to function is glucose which is also a carbohydrate. So carbohydrate is an essential nutrient for our body. What makes a difference is the kind of carbohydrate we consume. So simple carbohydrates that are present in sugary foods or processed foods get easily absorbed in the blood and they lack fiber which is why you might not feel full after you eat them and therefore you might tend to overeat these foods. On the other hand foods like grains, legumes, and starchy vegetables have something called complex carbohydrates which take time to digest and get absorbed by the blood. These keep you full for longer and therefore you cannot really overeat these foods. Also, foods containing complex carbohydrates have other nutrients and fiber in them which are good for the body. So inclusion of moderate amounts of complex carbohydrate containing foods in the diet is actually good for the body while it's better to stay away from processed and sugary foods that contain simple carbohydrates. To summarize, carbohydrates do not really cause weight gain per se. In fact, a single nutrient can never cause weight gain. Weight gain is a result of an overall calorie surplus diet, which means that when the calories that you consume exceeds the calories that you expend, the result is weight gain. Yes, egg yolk does contain fat and it does have cholesterol but there is no evidence suggesting that the cholesterol from egg yolk results in elevated LDL cholesterol in the body. In fact, egg yolk is a powerhouse of nutrients, so much so that it is considered a natural multivitamin. Apart from containing loads of vitamins and minerals, egg yolk is one of those few foods that naturally contain vitamin D in them. 
Research has suggested many many benefits of consuming egg yolk including boosting our brain health, our eye health, our immune function and our muscle growth. So eggs and egg yolks definitely have a place in a healthy diet. So there is a general consensus on consuming one or maximum two whole eggs per day and not exceeding this to avoid any negative outcomes on our heart health. So the three nutrition related myths that I busted in today's video were detox diets should be done regularly, carbohydrates cause weight gain and egg yolks are harmful for the body. All these three are myths and I hope I helped you understand the reason behind them better. That's all from me for today's video. I hope I was able to bust these three nutrition related myths for you in my video. If you want me to bust any more myths, let me know in the comments and I'll make a part two of this video. I hope you all have a fantastic 2023. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care until then. Bye.